and I hope that everybody's doing well. Uh, today, I wanted to share with you some questions, comments, and reactions on the podcast relationships. So let's get to it and see what we got. Let's see. The first one. To keep the relationship strong, you need communication because if you don't tell them what's wrong, it's going to keep being wrong and it will never get fixed. Also, you need forgiveness and understanding. No one is perfect, but if you love, if the love is there, then there is a way to make it work. And that's by Gabby. Um, I think, Gabby, that that's really, really a good a uh, good point um the forgiveness and understanding i totally agree with that sometimes we you know we're angry and we're so mad and we want to you know keep being mad um when we should just talk it out and you know try to work through it um but that's a good one gabby okay and the next one says, hi, Rochelle, I'm single as of right now. I had a horrible relationship. I was abused very badly and finally got the courage to get out of it. I am so scared to get into another relationship because I am still scared of being abused by another man. I may be single for a long time. And that's from Karini. Um, well, I, uh, applaud you on your courage to get out of it. I'm sure it was probably pretty difficult to, you know, get out of that relationship, but I do applaud you for getting out of it. Um, when you're ready, you'll, you know, you'll find somebody that you can have a good relationship with, but all in due time. And most, mostly it's when you're ready to be in a relationship. And the next one, I think some people are insecure and it shows when you can't have friends, whether it's a man or a woman, they flip out. It never fails to surprise me how insecure people can be. I never worry about my partner talking to people of any sex. So I am trying to find out what may be the issue. I'm in a relationship where my girlfriend was talking to her male friend about me. I was having issues with work and she knew this. So she goes to him and tells him all my business, which I did not appreciate at all. I'd never talk badly about her to anyone, much less another female. I think it is all about insecurity and respect. And that's by Mateo. And, uh, you know, I can see what the problem is. You should never never talk about your relationship to anybody else. You have to talk to each other um, and work through it. But yeah, don't, don't talk, you know, about your relationship to anybody other than the person that you're in the relationship with. And there shouldn't be any problem if you do that. But I do see what you're saying. I truly understand. And thank you, Mateo. Well, the only thing that stands out to me is the never go to bed angry rule. Always learn to talk it out and never let it carry on to the next day. Always remember your love for each other is bigger than what you were in a disagreement with. And that's by Lena. Well, thank you. We appreciate that. And that's very true, Lena. Very, very true. Okay. The next one, I have a lot of secrets that my partner doesn't know about. I'm scared to bring them up because of his insecurities he has. I feel it will start a fight. They are pretty bad, though, and I personally would be very mad if he had the secrets like I do. And that's by Kimmy. Well, uh, I think um, he probably would. It sounds like you got some secrets there, Kimmy. Um, wow. I don't know what they are. You didn't specify, but they, uh, the way you said it, it, you know, kind of sounds like it, but you know, just try it. You shouldn't have secrets because 
once they find out that you keeping them secrets from them, it can make the situation all the worse. So try to talk it out, Kimmy. And thank you so much for your comment. And the next one, I struggle with giving my partner space. I want to always be around him and he doesn't feel the same. He wants to go out with his friends, but I don't know what they would do if he went out. I know it's wrong to want to be under him 24 seven, but what should I do? And that's by Patsy. Uh, I mean, I can't really tell you what you should do, Patsy. Um, I do understand where you're coming from, but you do need to give him space. I do know that. Um, you know, give him his space. You need to. You guys need to talk, have a conversation about it, and maybe you guys can come to an agreement. Okay, thanks so much for your comments. Okay, I don't like to spend time with my girlfriend's family. They are horrible and they do not like me. They feel as though I took her from them, but I didn't. I have no issue with her spending time with her family. It's her that doesn't like my family and friends. And that's by Joshua. Well, Joshua, um, you know, the family is just like, they don't want to see their loved one get hurt. So, you know, maybe they, you know, are trying to protect her a little bit. Um, and I don't know what the deal is with, um, you know, her not liking your family and friends. That's something that you guys need to work out. You guys need to talk about it and, you know, see if you can, you know, get past this. Thank you so much for your comments, Joshua. And the next one. It seems all the relationships I have were horrible. I have none that I can say were any good. I have an issue with trust. I've tried to work on it, but it's not working. I need to fix myself before I can get into another tr another relationship. And that's by real truth. Um, <clears throat> real truth. I understand and I really believe you probably do need to fix yourself before you can get into another relationship. You have identified that you have trust issues and you have to keep working on that. And I would, you know, take care of yourself before you, you know, you can get into a relationship again. So thank you so much for your comments. Next one. I do not put my relationship first and I need to change that. I hang out with friends more than my boyfriend because I was with him before. Sorry. I was with him. Used to hang out all the time with them. Now he wants me to stop, but I can't. I don't want to sit around and just look at each other. That is not fun for me at all. He needs to understand that I need some freedom. And that's by Sheila. Uh, Sheila. Uh, I agree that it's not good to just sit around and look at each other 24 hours a day. Um, but also if you're in a relationship, um, you guys, you have to be with him. You have to do things with him, spend time with him. Maybe you guys can go out together or, you know, with other couples or whichever you choose and, you know, It'll be good. Get out and socialize with them. And then, you know, if you want to go on your own, you know, with your friends uh, and hang out, you know, you, you do it. But you need to talk to him about it because you don't want any problems, you know, in the future with your relationship. Thank you so much, Sheila. Okay. The next one. Let me get that one up. Oh, yeah, yeah, I had it up, but then, okie dokie. The next one. Well, okay, this is going to be interesting. I have been married for more than five years, and advice I have is run, run for the hills. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, Billy. And he goes on to say, it's horrible spending seven years with somebody. Yeah. Okay. 
Um, I don't know what to say to that, Billy. I, um, you know, <laughs> I just don't know. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, thank you for that laugh, though, Billy. That's funny. And he did write, run, run for the hills in caps. So I totally can understand what his feeling was when he wrote that. But thanks so much, Billy. We appreciate it. I appreciate the laugh, too. That was funny. Okay. And the next one. I wish I can fall in love with someone who is my best friend. I have yet to find that. I did try to date some best friends of mine, but it didn't work out. And I lost friends. I am not sure how to proceed on that, but it is what it is. And that's by Bonnie. Um, I know, I know you're right, Bonnie, with, you know, you want your, your partner to be like your best friend. Um, I don't know about them being your best friend, you know, dating your best friend so you can have that. Um, but I do understand what you mean. Um, dating. A friend can ruin a friendship because what if it doesn't work, you know, and then you've ruined that friendship. So I would just proceed with caution. You know, I wish you luck, Bonnie. Okay, the next one. Every time I try to bring up something, it turns into a fight. Sometimes it's a screaming match. I would just like to be able to talk like adults, but no, it's always a boxing match. And that's by Claudia. Um, yeah, Claudia, I I totally feel what you're saying. Um, but yeah, you guys got to figure a, out a way to discuss things without arguing, fighting, or whatever you're doing, screaming, whatever. Um, you guys got to try to work that out. You know, I don't really know what to say in that. But other than talk to your partner, try to talk calmly. And uh, both of you talk calm, calmly, <laughs> but try it out. Try to talk to them and see what happens. But thank you so much for your comments. The next one. My girlfriend is bad with money and such. I do not trust her with anything, much less money. There is no way I would rely on her. I got paid one time. I had a nice check. I could have paid all our bills and not had to worry all month long. She got into it and bam, spent it all shopping for shit we didn't need. She spent it all, she spent it all with only $20 left. Wow. She said it was for my gas. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Whew. And this person goes on to say, I know this isn't going to work out. That's by C-O-M-I, Karmic, something like that. Well, Karmi, I think that's very bad, um, especially to spend your old check, and you probably could have took care of all your bills and took care of all of them and, you know, not had to worry. So that's really pretty bad. And she left you with only $20 left. Eesh, I hope you have a small car. Um, just wow. I I don't know what to say to you. I really don't know what to say, Gummy. Uh, I hope you guys have worked it, worked it out since then, since you wrote this. I hope, you know, everything is going better. But you do need to talk to her about that. Because, yeah, if she didn't spend it on things you guys needed to do or things that you wanted. Yeah. I don't know how much your check was, but sound like it was a nice one. It all went down the drain. My goodness. Thank you so much for sharing. Okay. And this one says, I am single. I prefer it. I felt tied down and we didn't even have kids. I am thankful I haven't had any children yet. One day, I may change my mind, but for now, no way. And that's by Donald. You know, Donald's people, a lot of people like staying single. You know, we can relate to, you know, we understand about you, you know, be, feeling tied down. But 
it's a good thing that you don't have any kids running around uh, that you know of and because you don't want to be in a relationship at this time. So just take your time. You're single, so what? You know, as long as you're happy. And then one day you might change your mind and find somebody, you know, somebody that you can be with. Okay, Donald, thanks so much for your comments. And I wanted to take the time to thank everybody for the comments um, and the reactions to the podcast relationships. Um, sounds like a lot of different things going on. Um, but all in all, we just really need to speak to our partners and, you know, work on our relationship. It's hard work. It really is to keep a happy relationship. So I would just say, speak to your loved one, your partner, you know, girlfriend, boyfriend, whatever, and see if you guys can work out a way to get, to do good, to get along, to, you know, things like that. But I would just talk to them. Don't talk to anybody else, like a friend or anything like that. You need to talk to each other. Unless you get some kind of a doctor, psychiatrist, then, yeah, or counselor or whatever. Yeah, go ahead and, you know, talk to them. They they might even have some advice. Go to couples counseling if you want to. But, you know, I think it'll work itself out. But again, I hope everybody's doing well and staying safe. And I want to leave you guys a quote. And it says, relationships get stronger when both of you are willing to understand mistakes and forgiveness. And that's anonymous. So um, I just want to thank you guys again. And I'll be doing another one. Um, I tried to split them up, but I'll go ahead and do another one. And we'll finish that out. Okay. Well, thank you so much. And I wish you all luck in your relationships. I really do. And we will talk again soon. Take care for take care for now. Sorry. Take care. Bye-bye.